Number 81. If a die is rolled, what is the probability of getting a number divisible by 2? So again, we'll be using uh, the same principle on getting the probability. The probability in any event to happen will be, e will be equal to the number of desired outcome over total possible outcomes. So in this case, we rolled a die once. So what's the probability of getting a, dis a number divisible by 2? So getting the probability of, a no of um, rolling a number divisible by 2 will be equal to the number of decide how many numbers there are divisible by 2 so we have 2 4 and 6 we have 3 decide outcome and how many total possible we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 faces of die so you have 3 over 6 or simply 1 over 2 again number 82 he was a 16th century mathematician who was the first to define the probability of an event to happen is the quotient of the number of the favorable outcomes and the number of all outcomes who was he um correct answer there will be blaise pascal okay number 83 there are five types of correlation between pair data perfect positive correlation perfect negative correlation same positive correlation same negative correlation and no correlation the figure on the left shows what i name the figure again uh, the figure shows uh, sorry the figure on the right shows a same negative same positive correlation c perfect positive or d no correlation so i've already um, um illustrated those five um different types of correlation and hope you remember that is actually no correlation letter d number 84 for the sequence of events a b c p a union b union c is actually equal to this that is just a typographical error this is going to be the 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 formula for that the, the probability of a union b union c is equal to the probability of a plus probability of d plus probability of c minus probability of a and b the prob minus probability of a and c minus probability of b and c plus the probability of b and b and uh, the probability of them to happen at the same time so um these are the your general rules of probability um this we have subtraction multiplication and addition rule and as you can observe this this right here the the one that is being questioned is actually an extension of addition rule so still that is addition rule that is not that's letter that, that's letter b okay in addition rule uh, let me just discuss what's addition rule so the probability of an event a and uh, b to happen union of their events will be equal to the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of them to be occurring at the same time and that's it okay for number 85 that's still uh number 85 uh for mutually exclusive events a and b the p a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b that will be still addition rule as long as you see a union between sets it's going to be addition rule if that is intersection, that is multiplication rule. Number 86. A sample of 500 respondents was selected in a large metropolitan are in order to determine uh, various information concerning behavior. Among the questions asked was, do you enjoy shopping for clothing? Uh, out of 240 males, 136 answered yes. Of 260 females, 224 answered yes. Just like uh, shown in this diagram, um, in this table, you have this. The number of male who answered yes is 136, while the number of female and who answered yes is 224. And then, you were asked to find the probability that the respondent chosen at a random is female. So let's take the probability of, of, of the respondent be a female. So all we need to do is to get the totals of the... the, the of the female that is 260 there are 260 desired outcome that is the number of females and over the total number of respondents including the male so that should be 500 or their, their to the total respondent so or it is simply equal to 13 over 25 13 over 25 but then I got and then 13 25 8 okay for number 87 uh, to express that there is significant difference between the food values of the nursing um, uh, students and those of the nursing um, sorry again 
Number 87, to express that, that there is significant difference between uh, the food values of the nutrition students and those of the nursing students, um, what should be the, um, the symbols for that? So again, we're talking about hypothesis testing. So it's between null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. And we know for a fact that if that is null, that should, be start, that should start with uh, there is no significant. And well, if it's uh, an alternative hypothesis, that should start with there is significant difference. And obviously, we're talking about alternative hypothesis here. So it's between B or D. D or D. So as you can observe, there is significant difference. So that means there is a difference. The correct answer would be letter A. Because it shows that the, the mean of the first one, the first group, is not equal to the mean of the second group. So thus, there is significant difference. Okay, number 88. Find the absolute maximum value of f of x equals x raised to 2 thirds on negative 2, 3. So to find the absolute maximum value of this one, we need to find the critical values first. And remember, the endpoints of the interval always belong to the, to the critical values. So you have negative 2 and 3 here. Okay, Because those are possible uh, points wherein the what we're trying to find here is the absolute maximum value. We're trying to find out the ab the the maximum va the maximum value of y in this interval. Okay, so these are the possible x that can give us that. So let's have more by getting the derivative of of the function. The derivative of that that will be two thirds x raised to negative one third because it's going to be two thirds minus one and that will be f prime of x equals 2 over 3 the cube root of x now observe here okay um one value that can uh that can be possible critical value is actually x equals zero why because uh f prime of zero f prime of zero is undefined as you can observe, if you substitute 2 over uh, x here is 0, 2 over 3 cube root of 0, that will be cube root of 0 is 0 times 3, 2 divided by 0. So 0 is one of the critical values because the derivative of, of, of the function at 0 is undefined. Okay, And so we have three critical values, so we just need to try every number and observe uh, which one will give us the highest possible value of y. So let's have let's substitute this three values to this to the original function. So that will give us f of negative two. F of negative two is negative two raised to two thirds. So that will give us um, cube root of negative two raised to two, and that is cube root of four. So the value of y at negative two is cube root of four. Okay, let's take note that, and let's have f of uh, f of zero, zero raised to two thirds. That that will give us zero, zero to raised to any number zero except zero itself. Okay, so you have uh, number one square root of three over four zero, or the other one the f of uh, of f three that will give us three raised to two thirds, or cube root of three squared. Or simply cube root, cube root of nine, and obviously, okay, the largest y possible in this in, in this interval is cube root of nine. So that is our absolute maximum value. The answer will be cube root of nine. Number eighty nine. Find uh, the area of the triangles with vertices negative two zero, two three, and five zero. So if you have your calculator, 570 is plus, you can solve this using matrix. But if you don't have your calculator, uh, you can plot the points. Negative 2, 0 is here. And then 2, 3 is here. And 5, 0 is on this part. And if you connect them, you will form a triangle. This triangle. Now, we're in, this is negative 2, 0, this is 5, 0, 
and this is 2, 3. Uh, now, we, you are asked to find the area of this. Area of the triangle will be equal to 1 half of, one half of base times height. And the base of this will obviously be this one. The straight, uh, this, this line connecting 5, 0 and negative 2, 0. Base will be equal to, what's the length of this? It's it going to be easy. Why? Because all you need to do is to count. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. B is equal to 7 units. If you don't want to count, observe, all you need to do is to get the distance of these two points. And uh, distance between two points is very easy. If, you, if, if two points have the same coordinates, in this case, meron silang parehas na y, 0, 0, all you need to do is, sub so, is to subtract yung hindi makaparehas. That's going to be 5 and negative 2. So the distance between these two points will be 5, absolute value of 5 minus negative 2. Or simply, absolute value of that, 5 plus 2, that will be 7. B equals 7. Okay? That happens only when there are two coordinates that are the same. If it other, if otherwise, if, it is, if it's not the same, you will be needing to use the distance formula. The square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Now, um, what, we, what is left for us to do here is to get the height. The height of this triangle, uh, you can, uh, it, since this is your base, your height will come from the, this, tip, this, this vertex up to the base. And that should be perpendicular. That should be perpendicular. Or simply, you just need to find the distance of this line to this point. And how will you do that? You need to count. You just you just can you, you can count the, the okay number height that. Okay, what is left for us to do here is to find the height. Okay, the height of this one is this is this line right here. Okay, that's my height. Wherein it is perpendicular to my base, which is uh, this one, 7. So, uh, in order for us to find the height, all we need to do is to the number of units from this point to this, uh, to this side. So, you have 1, 2, 3. H will be equal to 3. And then area will be equal to 1 half of base. That means uh, that is 7 times your height is 3. Or 1 half of 21 or simply... 10.5 square units. Now, don't forget this problem because this problem is usually um, being repeated in different seasons of 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 let. So the, uh, you, you, you remember this this answer: 0.5 square units always when the the three vertices are given. Okay, number 90. Find two positive numbers whose product is 64 and whose sum is minimum. So all we need to do is to try. The easiest way to do this is to try every choices. Uh, although that's an application of maxima and minima in your differential calculus. But it's easy if you try every choices. Let's start with A. Uh, is the product of 8 and 8, 64? Yes. Uh, what's their sum? It's 16. Let's see if that is the minimum. It means that the lowest sum possible. Okay, let's sub letter B. 32 and 2, that is 54 also. But their sum is quite big, uh, 34. So it's uh, it's uh, bigger than or it's larger than 16. So it's gonna, it's not a possible answer. Let's sub letter C. 1 and 64, their product is 64 indeed. Uh, but their sum is 65. Larger than, It's larger than 16, so it's not a possible answer. Now, letter D, their product is not 64, and there's uh, and so they're not they will not be considered. So the correct answer will be letter A, eight and eight.